Hello, welcome to a new series by me, Kyle Rose, or Eagle Green GT, and I'm the newest member of the Kirith Esports Racing Team. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring everyone race guides each week for my favorite NASCAR combo of the week on iRacing. Later in that week, I'll post my first attempt at the race. I'll be at a huge disadvantage, but we'll learn a lot together. Hell, we might even have some good racing. I'm going to be bringing the yeehaws and try and provide some insight into the fun race combos Oval has to offer on iRacing. To be clear, these track guides are going to be focused for beginners or people that want to enjoy the chaos. There are a lot of very seasoned Oval racers, and as you spend more time in the car yourself, you develop a driving style that is unique to you. There are easily five to six different ways to drive a car fast on oval. Each technique offers different advantages and disadvantages. My personal strength has been and always will be strong late run pace. I drive precise in oval while ensuring I stay in touch with the lead pack. Kind of helps me save tires, uh, make a late push when other drivers start to struggle with their tires. I'm going to show different methods of driving techniques that I use for certain tracks, but I'll always focus on my long runs ensuring that I'm in front when I feel it matters at the end of the race. Feel free to experiment, play around uh, with the limited settings. I will be doing all of this on fixed series on iRacing. Uh, the few things that you can adjust are steering ratio, brake bias. Uh, those little bits of things can change a car completely depending on what track you're racing at. Uh, this can be used also to make the car behave a certain way, changing the brake bias uh, frontwards and backwards, and changing the steering ratio can make a massive difference in the results of your race. But we'll cover that as we dive into it. Um, but if you like the sound of that, feel free to like and subscribe, ring of the bell, uh, for our first video. In our first video, we're coming straight at you with, well, Daytona, duh. This should be the obvious choice. Daytona 500 is here in iRacing, and I'm entering for uh, Kirith's eSports uh, team here on Saturday, February 19th, 9 a.m. Pacific. Make sure you guys catch that. Cool thing about this race, it's the full 500 miles. Entries only also need a C license on iRacing to compete, leaving it open to many more than the normal Cup Series. The Cup Series is restricted to A license holders only. To get ready for four hours around a super speedway, you need to do a little bit of preparation if you don't have much experience in these cars. First, let's talk to you uh, through a lap of qualifying at Daytona. Now, watch this qualifying lap, you'll see my strategy of simply keeping the car on the apron. The smoother you are with inputs, the faster you're going to go. But overall, qualifying means near nothing at Daytona. The important part of this race is the strategy. All right, now you got you got race goggle Kyle on right now, and we're gonna be running the high line here at Daytona USA on the first lap. Contrary to what I just said, don't worry about what I just said. But anyways, we're gonna be running the high line here. Really important to run the high line and get as much speed as you can at a four, because you want to carry that momentum onto your first qualifying lap. That qualifying lap is when you dive down onto the inside here. Now, uh, you'll see me run the wide line, and I slowly creep it over right towards the yellow line. Now, uh, we're going to stick it here for the entire lap. On corner entry here, I made a little bit of a mistake, and I turned in a little bit too sharp. There's a bit of tire scrub, and that little bit of tire scrub, I think, kept me out of the top five. Now, those little bit of differences here matter a lot on Daytona qualifying laps. That was something that people don't fully understand, that it is all about the little bit of precision that you get on this racetrack. In my split, uh, there was a second split overall in this race, and we managed to put her on, I think it was 8th place at the end. Uh, not too bad overall, uh, but again, I think I could have gotten a little bit further up. If I was just a little bit more detailed on my corner entry and holding it down there on the yellow line. So you'll see here, we're going to hold her real tight. We're going to bring her down to the straight start finish here. And I got down on the apron. This is usually a tactic that used to work on the old cars. I don't think it works on the next gen, so the next time I qualify, I'm going to put her up on the tri-oval. But that's a lap of qualifying. Thanks for watching that qualifying guide with Kyle Rose, the race car driver. Now it's on to Kyle Rose, the race director. Adios. Well, thanks Kyle Rose, the race car driver. I guess let's, uh, let's start with fuel strategy now that we're qualified. For those of you who are doing this for the first time, 
Try to keep fuel in the car. There will be pit stops, but there may be just a few. There's almost a 100% chance of running a full stint under green, so having as much fuel in the car outside of 40 to go is critical. No one knows when the next yellow will wave, but there may be a couple cycles of pit stops under green. Well, now you have a fuel strategy, but now it's time to grid. Don't worry about the race start. Try to find others that are looking to conserve and drive safe as well. This is a full endurance race, so ensuring that you have a clean car and the final push is critical to be in the conversation for a win or even a top 10. Avoid three wide at first. Avoid drivers who are pinching and blocking down the straights. Make friends. Use voice chat to communicate with other drivers about pit windows. It's important to make early alliances. These drivers matter for 190 of 200 laps. Uh, what you do in the final laps is all up to you, but you need friends to push up the pack, save fuel, and come out of the pits and other big advantages with making friends during long races like this. Communicating is also critical. I highly suggest leaving voice chat on. It's usually very helpful during an accident. If there is smoke, usually chatter will tell people if there is an accident, go high or go low or stay on the apron. Most of you will likely be involved in an accident as well, but don't feel targeted. I don't expect a clean race either. I honestly feel about 10 cars out of the 40 are going to make it to the checkered flag without getting into an incident, maybe even lower in multiple different splits. It's a long race and half of the field gets tangled in clumsy mess. It's usually no one's fault, it's just the nature of super speedways. It's important to try and stay on the lead lap, however, and work with others who show patience. This will prolong your race with a clean car. If your car does take damage, don't sweat. Take as much repair as you can, but try not to lose laps if you can avoid it. Try to keep that time spent on repairs uh, for optionals to a minimum to stay on the lead lap. Pay attention to the pace car and try and stay in front of it. You have about 1 minute 20 to take repair during caution and stay in the lead lap. So you want to be able to have a car that can keep up in the draft but not slow enough to lose it. But don't sweat, there will be more yellows. And if you're comfortable doing it, don't be afraid to bump draft. If you want to use the arrow to push, go ahead and do that. Yeah, this is hard, and there are a lot of technical bits to working with cars in a big draft, but you can do it. And the biggest thing, have fun with it. Finish the race. See the checkered flag. Even if the car is bunk, there's a tremendous amount of accomplishment when you finish one of the longest races of the season and see that checkered flag wave at the finish. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm really excited about the uh, new opportunities here with this channel, um, and I look forward to seeing you all during my race Saturday, February 19th, 2022 at 9 a.m. Pacific. Again, thank you uh, and a big shout out to Kareth Esports for supporting me and my addiction to oval racing. Have a great rest of your day. Adios. And good night. I'm going to try it. Can we get some... The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit P9. Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah! Follow car yeah. number 15 <laughs> inside yeah. column. Let's go! Well done, gentlemen. So, uh, we're gonna try some techniques. Let's make sure we have a clean race, boys. Don't forget, we're doing this for Dale. So we want to make him proud. 10 4. Make sure we uh, race on pretty Dale. Let's go, boys. Think of the children, guys. Think of the children. <laughs> go, go, go.